Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianas, TEA, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. I have something special to share with you today. I've got a brand new subscription box and uh, I'm kind of excited about it. I haven't opened it yet myself. So I'm going to read you a little bit about it first, but I'm going to tell you up front that I discovered it by watching one of my YouTube ladies, Jesse Miller, Unboxings and More. And I discovered this on her channel, and it's called The Undiscovered, oddly enough. And this is not a beauty box. It's not a lifestyle box per se. It is an artisanal crafts subscription box. Discover the undiscovered. Explore the world of unique artesian boxes where customization rules and the choice is always yours. For every quarterly box you'll discover the culture and traditions of a new region as you fill your box with handcrafted artesian products. Each customized box will include five exceptional fair trade treasures valued at over $200 for $59.99 and you do get to customize it so level one is a premium item and you have at least a dozen items to choose from level two you get to choose two items and level three you also get to choose two items the undiscovered box let's see discover one-of-a-kind products and insider tips as you explore a new region with your local artisan guide or artisan, however you want to put your accent on which syllable. Every three months members receive a handsomely gift wrapped artesian guided undiscovered box. Each quarterly box showcases a different region. You can customize each level of your box or let us choose the favorite surprises for you. It includes behind-the-scenes stories, insider facts, our regional curator's favorite recipe of the season, and a personal grift from your artisan guide. Undiscovered box subscribers additionally benefit from access to, and with a significant savings, our private new undiscovered add-on market. This virtual international marketplace is filled with uniquely superb treasures chosen for your added consideration, a great way to explore and shop the exceptional arts and cultures of the world. And the unboxing that I saw Jesse do was for Mexico. And I love Mexican art. In fact, I have a small little collection of small animals, um, a cat, a pig, a gecko, I might be one or two more that I've collected at Santa Barbara's Fiesta, a celebration of old Spanish days. And this is a yearly celebration four or five days long. That's, um, let's just say it's the Santa Barbara equivalent of Mardi Gras. So we are Span uh, celebrating our Spanish and Mexican heritage of the founding of Santa Barbara. Um, and that's usually where I can pick up certain jewelry or artwork from um, generally Mexico. But I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Again, this is $15.99. You get five unique artisan crafted, handcrafted items. And you also get access to the add-on market. And you only get access to the add-on market once. Once you select your items for the three levels of the subscription box, you actually get only one chance to go through the hundred or so items that are in the marketplace and choose what you want. Or you could skip it and not do it at all. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> I don't skip any opportunity. So first I'm gonna show you the box itself. This is beautiful paper and a lovely silken ribbon. And it's just so pretty. And it's got Novica right there on the ribbon. I really hate to get into this. It's just so pretty. but get into it I must I don't really want to rip the paper but it's glued pretty tight uh, yeah I just ripped open the paper so it's stuck on really good yeah it's just it's not gonna let me save the paper <laughs> and I don't really want to cut it but 
And I guess I shall. And I kind of kept them intact because I really wanted whatever was inside to be a surprise to me and to you. Well, there's no way I can see this paper. It's just it's just stuck on there with glue. It's not just lightly wrapped, but it is stuck on there with glue. All right, <laughs> we're just doing this. Like it's Christmas, we're just doing this. Wow, they've got, they've got the paper glued on there really tight. All right. Put it on the other side of the bed. Go from there. Be careful of the scissors. There we go. So again, we've got a blown little plain box on the inside. Is this open? Does it push out? Okay. It comes out like a little sleeve. Wow, we've got this stuck in there really good. Well, considering it is shipped from Mexico. Wow. Oh, well, there goes the box. I can't even get it out of the box. Wow. This. All right. I'm not going to even try at this point to save the box. <laughs> it's glued in there. All right. comes with some tissue paper <laughs> that I've just ripped open, a booklet, a postcard, and at least some of my items. So we'll go ahead and gracias por, oh I can't even do that, uh, Jose Luis and Fatima are our guides. <laughs> gracias por something Mexico, a uh, través de nuestra artesana. I suck at this. I took three years of Spanish and can't speak one word. All right, but we've got a beautiful postcard. The next item is the guide. A journey has just begun. Untie it carefully so that doesn't rip. Okay, we have your artisan guides Jose Luis and Fantima Contreras. The Undiscovered Mexico. Welcome to our family workshop. We are from Dolores Hidalgo, north of San Miguel de Allende, known for the distinctive Talavera style ceramics that my father pioneered there. Over 40 years ago, he opened a workshop and began to teach the art of ceramics. Growing up, I helped my father in the workshop, not because I was interested, but because he paid me. It was a job. As time passed and I learned more, it became a passion. Now, like my father, I have won awards for my Talavera style ceramics. My wife, our son, my brother, and a cousin, two generations of my family, we all work together. I have three other children. I hope my other children will someday join us. It is our heritage and our legacy. Um, so they've got a little brochure about it um, and about the guide. Um, and it's actually got a recipe on the back, guacamole con fuatas, F-U-F-R-U-T-A-S. I suck at this. Three years Spanish, still can't speak it. Um, so it's got a nice, um, oh, they add chilies to their guacamole, so that would be no for me. <laughs> um, but I thought that was, that was very cute, very well, nicely made. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get into the design and the items that I purchased. Um, what goes where? Aha! So, this first item is a candle, and there's no way <laughs> I'm going to burn this beautiful thing. I love sugar skulls, and this one is a gorgeous one. Mm, the back of it, you've got a bird, Okay, what are we, what do we have here? The crafter is Ada Martinez. I love to see people's reactions when they admire the design and sh 
to share our traditions and the feelings it can elicit. Purple, colorful purple skull. This colorful sugar skull inspired candle is decorated in multicolor floral motifs. She works in paraffin and carefully paints the image by hand. Perfect for decor or display, it's waxed wick lets it burn as a functional candle. So I think that's absolutely gorgeous and that's one of the items that I picked. The next is, and there are tiny little booklets about each one. So the next item comes in a very um, almost cheesecloth-like little pouch and it comes with a booklet. The next is by Claudio Ojeda. I think that every day is a struggle, and in that struggle, something is our guardians. I'm assuming it's the Spanish word for owls, because I chose a small decorative keychain of an owl. Owls and crows are some of my spirit animals. And one's for wisdom in the day, and one's for wisdom at night. And I just thought that was the sweetest little thing. Now, am I going to risk that jumbling around in my big old purse? Absolutely not. So this wise little owl will be on display. Magenta Owl. This affordable key fob is handcrafted by Claudio Ojeda in Mexico. The owl is carved from copal, C-O-P-A-L, wood, and printed in magenta and a colorful array of patterns and shapes. The wood figure adorns a stainless steel key, key ring. That was my second item. The next is also <laughs> in a tiny little pouch, and it is even smaller. And since there's nothing with it, I'm going to assume it is a freebie tiny little thing. I think it's a bracelet, so it's a stretchy bracelet. Just a tiny little seed bead bracelet, which is very cute. I want to know how to make these so that it's almost like an endless loop. You can't you can't see where the knot is tied in the elastic. So that to me, even though it looks simple, I know it isn't that simple to hide the darn string, the elastic, because I've made bracelets like these or very similar, and I can never get the elastic to hide. The next item is, again, in these little soft cloth bags. The next item is a necklace. hearts and wings on an adjustable necklace chain, or necklace I should say, that's easily adjustable, which is good for me because I don't like short necklaces. So Edith Orozco, I would like to be the best example for my daughter and for other women who want to be entrepreneurs. From the heart, this delightful folk art pendant necklace is handmade by Mexico's Edith Orozco. The artesian molds the winged heart pendant from paper pulp before sanding it smooth and painting it carefully by hand. The pendant centers an adjustable black polyester cord. These things are very, very well packaged. So not only did it have tissue paper on the outside, but it's got a lot of cardboard covering the inside. And we here we have a Dia de los Muertos shadow box. He Hecho a mano, San Miguel de Allende, made in Mexico. It's got a little uh, metal backing. It's been uh, soldered together. And it is like a tin and glass and hand painted. We have a little note here. Uh, Rocio, R-O-C-I-O, Pinter, P-I-N-D-T-E-R. I want or traditions to be reflected in my artwork. This is why I fill them with symbolism, with beliefs, with roots, and with contrasts. Showy Katrina. 
Showing off her finery, Katrina is on display in this unique folk art wall accent. The small artwork is crafted from tin with a glass pane and hand painted with a beautiful Katrina wearing a bodacious feathered hat. So I don't know if you can see that. Love all the little daisies around the edge. You've got some birds and flowers. I think that might be a flying fish. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it's another bird. <laughs> but oh gosh, she is so pretty. I love her hat and all the little flowers and all the little beads and all the little sequins that are in there. Yeah. The last item that's part of my box very careful with this one. I may have to put it together. Yes, you do. Okay, just a little bit. The tail was what came off, um, and, and it's meant to come off. Okay, we have Jesus and Roxana Hernandez. We believe that nothing ventured, nothing gained. So we take on the challenge of creating innovative designs and we experiment with different materials, some more complex than others. The Howling Coyote. Jesus and Roxana capture the classic silhouette of a coyote with its head bent back to let out its plaintive howl in this wonderful hand-decorated sculpture. And this was one thing that is the premium item. I don't know if you can see the detail in the painting. And I can feel the paint, I can. The texture of it, it's been sanded so smooth too. And it's just, I just, gorgeous. See the back of the head? Can you see all those tiny little squares that have been hand painted? This is gorgeous, and I'm glad it's not as big as I feared it was going to be. I thought it was going to be this huge sculpture, and no, this is going to fit on my entertainment center amongst all my other um, Mexican art statues just beautifully. All of this is. Now, I did get a couple of add-ons, and this is going to take a little bit to open up because they are just as well packaged as the items that were in the box, and those items, that's just what was what I chose that isn't even um, add-ons yet. And I'm assuming this is add-on number one. Kind of flinging stuff to the edge of my bed. And I probably should have prepped this beforehand, but I wanted the surprise to open this with you, even if it is taking a while. Oh my heavens. Oh. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is the first add-on that I chose, and I only chose two. It's a starfish. Juana Ponce, our father lives on in our artisan legacy. Therefore, he is with us always. He showed us the value of tenacity and resistance in the face of life's challenges. Hacienda Starfish. Bringing the beauty of the ocean to your home, this ceramic wall sculpture is created by Mexican artisan Juana Ponce. And uh, the back is um, open so you can put a hook so it can hang on the wall can hang it off of a fence if you wanted to leave it outside. Um, it's wonderfully glossy and uh, yeah it's got even got a little there. So that was add-on number one and I don't think the add-ons were really all that expensive. I think I picked something that was $12 and another one that was $15. <laughs> so well this is going to be interesting. Next time I know. <laughs> um, and I will prep this better for the next round because I've actually already made my choices. I came to this subscription very late in the quarter, so they're already taking the orders for the next quarter, which is actually, I think, due out 
August 22nd. So they are not going to let these things break in, in transit. So let me tell you. I think this is up because I know what this is. And this is one thing I'm definitely very much looking forward to. Um, Sorry, I'm just making these little happy noises, and it's like, oh, this. there's a reason why these are so well packaged, because the items themselves are so very delicate. Oh, there's going to be a mess to clean up on my bed after I'm done with this, let me tell you. definitely going to be something I'm going to want to proudly display once I get it out of the packaging. Okay, before I show it to you, and maybe you got a glimpse, I'm not sure. Um, again, by Juana Ponce. Our same, same quote. Christmas pine. Add a Christmas glow to your home decor with this lantern designed by Mexican artisan Juana Ponce. The lantern is crafted from ceramic in the shape of a pine tree with a star on top. That's just beautiful. So many colors to go with so many different types of decor. And I don't know if you can see here, but there are little holes throughout so that you could put a candle inside whether it's an electric one or if you'd want to risk using an actual candle. Um, but yeah, this was something that was like, this is perfect. I don't generally have Christmas trees just because I've had cats. I live in a small apartment and I thought this would absolutely be beautiful to have on my display, uh, on display, on my entertainment center. Um, and just the colors were so bright and so festive and, um, I just think it's beautiful. I really do. So, <laughs> I'm not going to go over it again because it's like spread out all over my bed at this point. So, that is the Undiscovered Mexico. And I think I have some beautiful products. I think they are definitely worth the value for the first five products of $59.99. And as I said, um, each of the two add-ons that I picked up were under $15 each, and they had a, a myriad of other items, um, but those are the ones that caught my eye. So for Mexico, they did focus on jewelry and sculpture more, but I'm going to tell you what the next one is. The next quarter, we're going to Thailand, and I think I picked up four extra items there. So something to look forward to. Again, I came to this very late in the game. I want to thank Jesse Miller, Unboxings and More, for introducing to me this absolutely beautiful subscription box. It's not your typical thing. I don't do well <laughs> with lifestyle subscription box. I had Fad Fit Fun for about a year and gave it up. The only thing I really liked about it was the sale of, of you know, sponge gels, ahava, and poopery. <laughs> And then I tried Goldie Box for one season, and I haven't used one thing out of the spring um, box yet, and I decided to skip the summer box, and we'll see what fall brings. But this stuff is immediately going on my entertainment center, and it will definitely find, find a home. So thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I am so sorry that this is so long. I will be better prepared next time and unwrap everything <laughs> before I try and get into it. If you are interested in the subscription, I will leave the links down below. I will also leave the links to Jessie's unboxing of um, what she got from the Mexico box. And again, looking forward to what we're going to discover in the Undiscovered Thailand for next, uh, for next season. So be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And I will see you around the net. Bye.